Well, Deanna Barrios Trevino is joining us this morning in the kitchen with a special recipe straight out of the pages of the family cookbook. That's right, the chicharron de queso. I love it's it. It's like a cheese crisp is basically what it is. Okay. So I have some uh, grated manchego cheese. I like to say manchego. Manchego. I know. Can we just do it together real quick? Okay. Watch. Manchego. 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 <laughs> Okay, it's good. so it's basically so I had to get this going because yeah. the stove really needs to be a hot, hot, hot skillet. So what do you do? You just plop you, it down I in there? I took a little, about four ounces and you just put it down. No oil or anything? Nothing. It releases what it already, the cheese has. Okay. And so you want it to crisp like this. Okay. And see how <gasps> awesome that is? It worked, is? for real. Yes, and it really did. Oh, that's magical. And so then you, you can place this in a, in a tortilla and then of course, of course, we couldn't, it wouldn't be... Right, without Henry's secret salsa. Oh, of course not. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. And this salsa is a roasted tomato jalapeno. It's just oh, delicious. It's, okay. It's one of those uh, addictive sauces. It's so, so yummy. So cheese, crispy cheese in your delicious tortilla with some salsa right. wrapped up. Right, oh. exactly. Oh, I and don't want to break it. It's, it's so pretty. But it's so good. Oh, and, or you can, some people just like to eat it like that, Look at that. with the salsa. Oh, <gasps> my gosh. Right there. It's I know. Delicious. Nate's like, can I get my hands on that, please? <laughs> Looking good. And so just for so I'll that I can you, show right. how this is done, mm -hmm. I'm just taking a little bit. You want to make sure that it's as flat. It's like a sheet of cheese that okay. you're putting on, okay? Like, it's just so it stays together. Right. You don't want to mound it up because it won't work okay. like that. It, it'll take forever and it'll get real dark. And Keep you know what? Like low heat or no, high no, heat? No, no. Well, you, it depends on your stove. Okay. But because the stove takes a little while, I have it on high heat, but okay. it did it beautifully. But it has been sitting there oh, for quite really a while. So uh, it's going to release the juices from the for the cheese and, and that's okay okay uh, and if it gets really 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 dark on the bottom that's okay too it's calm the crispier you know, the better oh it's delicious all right so basically next our next recipe is very simple and wh basically what i've already done to get it started i've already sauteed my onion two different kinds of onion okay uh yellow onion or white onion whatever you like and uh the green onion. Okay. And then I added some jalapenos. Yum. <laughs> Which it you can still smell so you good. You want to ventilate. I'm telling you. Good okay. stuff. And so next, and I added a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Next, we're going to start adding our cheeses. This is a white cheddar cubed. This is a Monterey Jack style cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like a white chile con queso. It's done with the white cheeses. Okay. I'm going to add some milk. Mm. I've already added a little bit of salt and pepper to... Um, so you're doing this on the stovetop. That's right. In like a, a Dutch oven kind it's, of thing. Yes. Okay. I, I love this Dutch oven. I use it all of the time. Okay. It's great. So we want the cheese to start melting. Okay. You can, you know, you can cube it, the, the cheese, or you can uh, grate it. Of course, when you grate it, it, it tends to melt much quicker. I'll give this a stir while okay. you work. Meanwhile, let's talk a little bit about the cookbook. Because oh, we mentioned that the cheese crisp recipe is, in, that is in the cookbook. This is something that you guys spent a long time putting together. We sure did. But it features so many fabulous recipes. It does. And you know what we're finding now is that moms that bought it when it first came out, they're buying it now for their daughters mm -hmm. because they're getting married or, or grandmothers are buying it for their granddaughters. So it's a great, great gift. It's a great gift. You can Christmas, get it all the restaurants. Wedding. Yes. So the last three items that we're adding, we're going to okay. add some tomatoes, poblanos. You can just throw them all in. All right. And some spinach. Spinach? Like frozen spinach to get the water out? Yes. Okay. You, exactly. You thaw it out. You squeeze the water. I always have gloves because when you're, you know, cutting pepper, peeling peppers or whatever, you don't want it to, uh, oh to burn. Oh, my gosh. So I always do it with the gloves on. And so then we're going to add more cheese in, Look how in a little bit. beautiful that is. It's going to be a delicious. Wow. Yeah. You know what that's going to be perfect for? Football. That's right. There. right. That yeah. is exactly That is like right. a perfect football dish. Yes. Ooh, delicious. So we're going to continue to let this we'll melt. We'll keep cooking that. Let it melt. You can serve it with chips when it's all said and done. Put it on a little bit of bread. But it is a fabulous recipe. We'll have that up for you online a little bit later on. Deanna, thank you so much. You're welcome. Come Boy, see me. We're making that for sure. And you guys, go see Deanna. She is at, oh boy, she makes a stop at each restaurant all week. I know, I right? Do. Los Barrios Mexican Restaurant. I know there's some crazy construction on Blanco Road, but keep in mind Los Barrios is open every day. There's the phone number on the screen. You can also find the family out at La Hacienda de Los Barrios out on Redland Road. 
and the newest restaurant, Violas Ventanas on Westover Hills Boulevard. That website, violasventanas.com. All right, still to come on sale. Oh, a giveaway. Look at that. $50, a gift card that you can use out at Los Barrios if you are the fourth caller right now at 470-5444. Up next.